All right, buddy. So, what's your name and where you from? Um, I'm Hector. You know, everybody call me Heck. I'm from I'm from Harford, bro. I, mean, I, was about to, I was about to say, did you forget your name, man? Yeah, man. <laughs> I was like, I was if like, you use a nickname or not, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Hector, man. Well, first off, it's nice to meet you. And you're from Connecticut, huh? Yes, sir. Well, tell me a little bit about it, man. You say you've been locked up. Uh, what exactly did you get locked up for? About how long did you do? All right. Um, the first time was for like, you know, selling selling crack or whatever. And I came home after that. Uh, about six months later, then I caught my long stretch, was which was the eight years. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, for that, I, I, I was on probation. I violated my probation. Well, anyway, when they came to get me, I, ha- I ended up having a shootout with the police. Really? Yeah. So then uh, I ended up getting shot. And, you know, I tried to run I, from, you know, from the blood loss. I passed out. Oh, okay, hold on. Break it down, man. So you, yeah. you yeah, let's hear it, man. I, paint the picture for me because this sounds very interesting, man. How'd it go down? All right. Um, well, I, they had went to my house in um in Hartford, right? Uh-huh. I wasn't there, so they ended up searching my room, everything. Then my mom calls me. Ah, oh, they're looking for you. They're looking for you, or whatever. Then uh, so what happened was that um, I was at my my kid's uh, mom's house across the river which is in East Hartford. So I, um, when they come over there, you know, being in the street, whatever, um, you know, I had just came home. So I'm not, bro, like not s- about seven months. I'm like, man, I'm not trying to go back to jail. You know what I'm saying? So me being dumb minded, because you know, I swear to God, I, I, I lost so, you know, like I lost so much time, you know, with the kids and all that. And so, me being young minded, whatever, having a gun, I'm like, you know what, I'm about to just and try to get away. You know, I'm so I hit the corner, you know, the dude, the, the cop hit the corner with the, you know, with the flashlight on top of the gun. He like, freeze. Were you just aiming to get him to fall back? Well, I was aiming towards that way, but I, you know, like, I ain't know if it was going to hit him or not. I hit yeah. everything behind him. I hit everything behind him, house, everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So what happened was like I, when I came out the building, so these little projects, right? So I came out the back building. So when I turned the corner, he's he's he's, he's to my left on the corner of the building. So when I looked that way, I just boom, boom, but just start dumping. So then when I take the gun and I throw it, and I start running. So when I'm running, he shot me, boom. I'm like, oh shit! And I kept running after that. I don't remember shit. Where he hit you at? In the arm. Yeah. Yeah, had my little muscle hanging out, everything. Damn. Yeah. So then Just one uh, time. Uh, yeah, one time. So then when I was running and I passed out, I woke up with the dog tugging on my leg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's how I woke <laughs> up. Yeah. That's like a, uh, you know how them people that OD get the shot. They yeah. Wake them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The canine hit your ass <laughs> up, boy. I sit, man. Woke my ass right. <laughs> I, sw- I don't remember nothing in between, but I, I woke up when he was tucked. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. So then, you know, he like ripped the back, like the back of my leg. I got like a, you know, like a scar in the back of my leg. And a yeah. couple, you know, his little, his his canine marks on the side of my shit. Yep. Yeah. So then um I went back and forth to court for that for about like 20 months going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What were you getting? Like, uh, we off- what- well, my first offer was Tim- 20. 20 attempted murder or something like that. Yeah, they gave me yeah, they gave me uh 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 first degree attempted a uh, first degree attempted murder uh uh on personnel which is you know peace officer or whatever. Yeah. You know cop, yeah, so they gave me that. Then they gave you know I had the violation of probation and um you know unlawful discharge of a firearm, pistol without a permit, felon with a firearm. All that, you know, all the charges that come with it. I had, Some of I, the worst I, charges you could have. Yeah, I had. It was. It's about. I want to say seven, seven charges altogether, and yeah. then my violation of probation. So yeah, I was going back and forth to the court for that. It took like twenty months. Um, you know, they was offering twenty, 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 and then uh, twenty years. Yeah, they was yeah twenty years, and then you know I just kept going back and forth. And then uh, they came 10 mandatory. 
I was like, hell no, I'm not. You know, I'm looking at my my age and all this. I'm like, just turning 19. I just turned 19. Kept going back and forth to court. And, you know, they offered me 10. And I was like, nah, if they drop it down a little more, then, you know, we could talk, you know? I mean, was there something in the case to where you possibly could have beaten it? That they were well, coming at you with these? Because for real, those charges that you just named, man. I mean, that's yeah. like minimal 20 piece you know what I yeah mean? yeah so so they just kept going back and forth well we went to we went to we, we kept going back and forth so because i was i was saying that they just shot me that i came out that you know what i mean so we were what well, we was trying to you know the defense our lawyer and shit whatever when we was going back and forth to court we made it look like you know because they had other incidents before where they had killed people in that town before so we was trying to use that excessive force type of shit type of thing. Touche, so, my friend. Touche. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, then they brought it to 10 and then they gave me, uh, then they, the last offer was uh, 20 suspended after eight with five years probation. So. That's not know, bad, man. That's not no, bad. No, hell no. You know, because it's either that, I mean, you know, anything could have happened. You think, think about it. I yeah. could have got shot and they could have killed me and got away with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Plus all this shit that I got away with before that they was already, you know, you know, that's why they was coming to my house or whatever for some other shit. So then um, in 98, June, uh, July 98. Okay. So now it's about 99. It's, it's, it's 99, but it's like uh, towards the end. So like about, about October, they came and offered me that. Yeah, so yeah. I sat in the, so I sat in the county, I sat in the county for another like forty five days, and then I went and uh, I took the eight years, yeah. eight years. I took twenty suspended after eight, five years probation. Yep. You get violated anymore since you've been out? Oh shit, man! I finished the eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna but... lie, you look like a goddamn Korean <laughs> criminal, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I see him, man. I know. Yeah. I'm telling you now. Um, all right. All right. All right. So let. Okay. So you've been in the mix, man. I don't need to know yeah, too much yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've been in yeah. and out, man. You uh, you sound like me. I was in and out, man. I was coming in, coming straight out the pen, going back to the same old shit, going yeah. right back. Or I was getting caught up on some just fluke shit, man, and end up going to prison, man. So I understand the system and how it's like a damn spider web. Is uh, it? So you're doing an eight year bid, uh. In, Ken in Connecticut. Tell me, what prisons did you go to, man? Shit, uh, I started off at the county. They kept me there for two, three days. Then they sent me to Walker, which is uh, Walker CI. Is the, you know, it's for high bond. That's anybody with high bond. Uh, if you're not permanent party there, which permanent party is just basically like people that are sentenced and they're just the workers for the jail. Yeah. So they sent you there. I went there for, I stood there, you know, that's when I kept going back and forth. I went to Walker and then from Walker, I went back to the county jail, which is Hartford CI. And then from there, I went to McDougal, which is McDougal. the level four. Yeah, that's the, okay. that's the level four. That's, you know, because uh, the highest up here is level five. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I went to McDougal. Uh, I stood there for about, damn. I stood there for like, like thirty months, there, and then they start doing the um, you know, prison overpopulated shit, and um, I ended up uh uh uh, you know, we was considered the worst criminals in Connecticut, you know, so per se, you know, that's what they were saying. And so. This was at McDougal. Yeah, you know, okay. so so like everybody who had like the basically like the worst charges in Connecticut type shit, they started. And then per prison, uh, 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 cause you know it was it, it was prison overcrowding up here in Connecticut. So then they shipped me out to uh, Wallens Ridge in Virginia. That's why I was telling you before that yeah. I was here. Yeah. yeah, you are co-signing to what I said about Greensville. Yeah, well, yeah. Listen, I because in... uh, I, 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 well, the thing, the reason I didn't make it to Greensville was because when I was in Wallens Ridge, I got into you know I caught a bunch of tickets yeah. and plus my 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 record, they didn't send me to Greensville. Yeah, you Greensville was saying? like Greensville was like the beginning prison of the most. It was it was a medium high. It was a three yep, yep. four when I was yep. there, and uh, 
if you got in trouble, you're going to Wallens Ridge. Okay? Yeah. So that was the next step up. It was like Wallens Ridge and Sussex, and then you got Onion, of course. Yep, you yep, just yep, watching yep. Onion. But look, ladies and gentlemen, I told this a long time ago. When I was in Greensville, there was, you know, there was disturbances between Richmond cats and, uh, you know, Tidewater cats. Where I'm from, Tidewater, 757 Hampton Roads. So we were beefing a little bit. We didn't really beef. We just didn't hang out together so much. But then yep, yep, yep. a group of Connecticut cats came yeah. down. Yeah. This is crazy, man. And I'm glad, you know, and I, I think you might have told me, but I might have forgotten. But this Yeah, was it was, I, had, I had hit you up when I, when, when I, um, when I was hitting you up, you know, to try to get the interview going, I was telling you like, yo, I can tell you about everything up this way because I didn't been to everything up, every jail up here except for three of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and one of them is like the cuckoo house where they send you with, you know, psychedelic, you know, like if you got psychological problems and shit like that, mental health yeah. type shit, that, other than that. But I didn't been to all of them out here except for three of them. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, tell me this, man. Uh, I hate to just talk about Virginia, but I'm really interested on this. Okay, but uh, we're, I, I can almost tell that this is probably going to be a, a two-parter special, man. If you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but look, I don't, I so you're in mind. Connecticut. You go to Wallens Ridge. Uh, how was it coming from uh, McDougal to one of the high-level prisons in Virginia, Wallens Ridge? How was it? Was it all right? So more like dangerous, so just the same. What? All right, I'm a, I'm going to tell you like this. So. Anyway, the, 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 the marshals came to get us from, from Virginia, right? First of all, they kidnapped you at night. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because they were, what they was doing is they would come around 3, 4 in the morning every two weeks, and they're snatching people. Boom, 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 right? Moving and transporting them around. Yeah. yeah. So then it, how they came to get me was some dude in there was a diabetic, right? Yeah. So he ended up having one of them... Uh, uh, what you call it? So then, supposedly, my name popped up on a computer, and then the, you know. So I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, because every 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 two weeks we used to stay up to see who the hell they gonna snatch up and take to Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Because when the shit was going down, and I made the um the first trip, I made it on the first trip, but the, the first second round, the, the first yeah, round the pick, first, huh? Yeah, you were, so, the damn, you were the damn. Uh, what do they call them thing? First, dra first round draft pick for the. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and, and the, the the crazy part was that I thought I made the wave because everybody had got snatched up already. So I, I I go to sleep. I go lay down. Everything. I'm like shit. I made it. I go lay down. You got the last one, bro. Huh? Like an hour and a half later, bro. They got the dogs in my door. Everything. Everything. They tell my celly turn around, face the. Thing and they come snatch, you know, they call me to the door, snatch me up, but they ain't do all that rough shit. They just came, you know, back up, you yeah. know, walk backwards to the door, whatever. And they came and um snatched me up, boom, threw me on the on the bus. And then we shot down the so so the difference between up there when we got up there, it was nothing in there though. We was just happy. Oh, Wallens we, Ridge? Yeah, it was um, you know, because oh, they like, must have had a whole block open for y'all. Oh my god, they had a no lie, I think there was like six blocks all together that they had for us. Because the first people that came up there, we all went to Wallace Ridge. Greensville was after. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. when 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 everything went down, all right. So when we was in Wallace Ridge, you know, it was all empty cells, whatever. We ain't get our property till like the next day, you know, because it was a whole, you know, a whole bunch of us that came that day or whatever. So like the cells is bigger out there. The window super tiny and yeah. you only you only the only person the top bunk is that window you know what i mean yeah and, and how was the block though can you paint the picture for an audience all right about so, the block? When you walk, so when you walk in the block it's it, it's like uh you walk in it looks like a u basically you know what i'm saying and it's you know the top you know you got the the two steps on each side and then you know that there's a couple doors right here and it, you know it goes around like this you know like a square so Basically. it's a two-tier block? Yeah. Okay. Right? And then, you know, they got all the red boxes. Like, we don't have that shit where we at. You know, don't the red line. That, don't don't cross yeah. that red line, but dog. You get fired upon that type of shit. Like, we didn't, we don't have none of that up here. Yeah. You know, as far as in the blocks. Yeah. When, when, you know, when, when, when I was doing time, you know, and you in the level four, once the count clears, all the cells open and we're out on the tier. Yeah. You know what Just I'm saying? Kind of free you can, roam around the whole yeah, pod. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be hanging out on the top tier. 
You understand what I'm saying? You know, yeah. everything comes down to the bottom tier, but you know, you basically go in your boy's cell, depending who working, you know what I'm saying? You know how that goes. Yeah. So, you know, it's like that, but up there, it wasn't none of that. You couldn't even cross the red line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or you will get fired. That's all they kept telling. Everything was, you will get fired upon. Yeah. Because in, their, in, in their head, in their head on, on, on the real, in their head, they, you know, they came, they, you know, we was painted as the worst prisoners in Connecticut. Yeah, of so, course. You know, it, so the the Wallens they, Ridge has some dangerous fools up there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't, they didn't, we didn't get mixed with none of them, though. Yeah. Unless we wasn't SAG and there was a couple, you know, cells down or something. Other than that, we wouldn't mix with them at all. Yeah. They wouldn't, they wouldn't mix them. If they was in the yard or whatever and we was coming out, they'll, everybody would have to go to the center of the yard. You know what I mean? They'll say it over the loudspeaker. You go to the center of the yard and then we walk to wherever we got to go to. And then, boom, they get regular, you know, they go back to wreck. That's how it was. It was, it was a lot different. And the, the way they wreck up there is different, too. They yeah. start wreck at, like, 6 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 like, the cells was bigger. And then the TVs, like, they had little TVs, man. No lie. These shit look like a... Little black and white? They had little one. It looked like a little radio, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, little, it had a dial on the top of it and shit. Yeah, I yeah. had one of them, man. <laughs> yeah, they had those. They had those in black and white, and then they had them in color. But see, when we came up, when we came up there, we got the thirteen inch joints. Oh, y'all had the it big was, ones before us. Yeah, we've been had those, man. I'm talking about for years. You know, yeah. first back then we used to get them, you know, just black and white. Yeah. And then they start coming out with the color. So then, yeah. So we, they used. They was thinking we was rich, you know, the, the dudes that we do run into or whatever. Oh, man, yeah. those are rich. Because they seen us, you know, bringing them up the them, property. Them, them, them damn 70 inches, man. Yeah. yeah, man. So, and then y'all got cable up there. We don't got cable. Yeah, we, we got just got cable right. outlets and everything in the cell. Yeah. Like, you got, we got cable outlets, but you're not getting cable channels. <laughs> what are you getting? Got, no, we was just getting this, whatever you could plug in, whatever it is, like, um, whatever you Basic. catch on the digital... Yeah, basic, just digital antenna. Or if not, you go into the wall and you only got like basic channels that they had there. It wasn't yeah. nothing with cable. Up there, y'all had a lot of shit though. Like, you know, y'all got cable. Only thing, the commissary garbage up there. Yeah. I don't know yeah. about Greensville because I heard Greensville was, was totally different. Greensville we, was, it was upgrading as it went along, man. It's gotten yeah. a lot better from when I was there. When I was there, yeah. there wasn't no damn heating or AC. I mean, it was, I mean, actually, I think they had, Actually, no, they ain't even have heat, I don't believe, except for in the pot. But the AC, summertime, God, it was hell on earth. You know what I mean? It was old yeah. as hell. Uh, yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was like, it was, it, was, it, it, it was different. Like, the commissary up there was, it, yeah, we couldn't spend as much. And then on top of it, remember, we was a, we, they already had cut smoking up this way. So a lot of our money was going straight to cigarettes. You understand what I'm saying? They were still allowed to smoke over here, right? Yeah, y'all was smoking still, and we wasn't. They had yeah. took ours, you know. Probably like um five six years before that, yeah. So when it was like two thousand eight or nine, I believe. Uh, Virginia oh. really started taking them out. Then they gave us when you first got there. They gave us a loan. You understand what I'm saying? When we first got there, they gave us a loan, like a twelve dollar loan, so yeah, you can yeah, buy yeah. a little, you know, whatever your little shit you can buy or whatever. So you know, we bought, we just bought cigarettes because once we get our property, we had whatever we needed. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like. That's funny, man. Why did I think about people selling me BT cards when that when you when you said that? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, All right. Uh, they, I ain't gonna lie. There was some racist racist dudes up there, like the C, you know, the COs. Oh yeah. That oh yeah. Because remember, it's like West Virginia, man. That shit, Southwest Virginia. That shit, no joke out there. Wallens Ridge, and then when you get to Red Onion, boy, bro, literally, you got, you was, got them, you got them country boys. They they don't yeah, give a I'm, shit. You know I'm I mean? telling you, man, and when we came, all you seen them, man, listen, with the cup, spitting that shit in the cup, you know, and then yep, they, talk, yep. and they talking that big shit to us. <laughs> Everything was you going to get fired upon. <laughs> I'm telling you. you know, so hey, we can I go to the library, boss? You about to get fired upon. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they, yeah, they don't fuck around. They yeah. don't fuck around, yeah. My, homeboy, my homeboy's dad died from a beanbag in the neck in uh, Wands Ridge, man. yeah. So, so yeah, they, they will fire there. on your ass. All right, oh, I was in the block when the um when the older dude died. There was an older dude, uh, Fraser. He ended up dying in our block. He was literally, bro. I, my cell was like right here where you could look straight at the um at the gun tower, and he was like about one, two, 
about three cells over. So right before you hit the bend, he was like right there to my right. You understand what I'm saying? If I would have faced out, because my cell was like you looking at this way. So it'll be on my right side. So his cell, he ended up, he had it like a diabetic, one of them diabetic, you know, um, seizures or whatever. Yeah. And they tried to say that he tried to get, you know, like, uh, like he tried to get aggressive with him or whatever. They ended up shocking him, bro. He ended up killing him out there, man. Yeah, he was the second person that died out there when we was up there from Connecticut. And he was a Connecticut cat, okay. Yep, 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 yep. It was yeah. a lot of shit up there. We went through a lot of shit up there. We ended up having a little, some, some, we ended up, bro, we all planned it, like, because, you know, we got, I don't know if you know about the gangs out here, whatever, whatever, but. Where, in Connecticut? You know, yeah, up this way. Well, y'all got a lot of kings out there, right? We got, it's, it's, it's um, kings, solids. Back then it was just, yeah, kings, solids. It's Solidos. Solid, I've never heard of them. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of Solidos. It's Solidos, Kings. Back then, you know, 20 Love. Yep, it was Solid. It was Solidos, Kings, 20 Loves, Nietas. And you know what Nietas, I'm saying? So, yep. Yeah. So then um, the Bloods and all that, 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 that just hit out here maybe, I'm going to say 10 years ago. Yeah. Just this way like it is now. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, you know, everybody talked to everybody. And then um, on our way to, uh, you know, because we was tired of the bullshit. So on our way to Chow, we ain't locking up. If y'all ain't want to have another, excuse my language, if y'all ain't want to have a part of it, just stay in your cell. You understand what I'm saying? And this is in the Ridge? In the Ridge, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God, bro. So when we going, so now we coming out. Everybody eats. You understand what I'm saying? Every, you know, we all was ready. So whoever came out, we already knew what it was going on. So then when we came back uh, on our way out, Instead of going into the block, we just went to the center of the yard. Like, man, we're not going nowhere. Call the helicopters, call everybody, whatever. We're not locking up. We And what so, was the main problem that y'all were trying to uh, combat uh, here? A lot of us was, we well, we were trying to get back to Connecticut, you know. I and bet the all, phone calls were expensive as shit. $15 damn near, bro. $15, $17, something like that. And she was expensive, bro. Yeah. So what we was trying to do was, like, get us sent back. You know, all the racist shit that was going on because, bro, we would be walking and they'll be singing like, you know, the racist railroad yeah. songs that they be. Yeah, bro, this shit was bad. So, um, yeah, we all went to the center of the yard, bro. And um, lock up. Man. Then then next thing you know, bro, they just shooting at us from the towers and everything. Man. Letting big tear gases out. Yeah, man, they just start going crazy. At the, all you heard was beanbags. Everybody was covered up and it, it was slowing at the, at the time too. And we like dead stuck in the middle of a mountain, bro. Yeah, it's up and there in the freaking shooting. mountains. Yeah. And they shooting beanbags and all types of shit, man. It was crazy. And then after that, basically they all came, you know, brought us all the sag. They, they had, had a whole damn block, damn near isolation, man, except for like seven people, bro. Yeah. Up there in VA. Yep, and then after that, man, well, about a month later, they start shipping us out. One, you know what I mean? Little trips like that. They they ship, the, and we ended. We got what we wanted was to get us sent back home. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. little by little, man, we would just come in waves, man. By the within the next, let's say the next two months, we was all gone. Our block, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. The time up there, man, like, all right, the way that, the way we do time up here and up there was totally different. And then because we remember we was in, you know, you know, that was like one of the, the most locked down places y'all had up there other than yeah. Red Onion. That was one of the, you know, the one of the worst ones. So we didn't, you know, other than our little wreck that we had where we played poker and, and, and chess and took our little showers. Other than that, you know, the mingling, it was, it was, you know, we was kept like segregated anyway. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so I really can't coffee. tell you how this shit ran out there. Yeah, yeah, that shit was yeah, it was it was tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, I but mean, I made it though, man. From what you're saying, it it it's it, it's exactly what anybody who has done time in Virginia their whole life and went to Wallens Ridge would tell you. I mean, that's you you will get yeah. fired upon, my friend. That is uh, that, a line yeah, that they say all the time, would, especially in Sussex as well. Every, yeah. Behind everything, you will yeah. get fired upon. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was great. <laughs> well, well, look, man. Uh, I want to. I want you back on the show. I want to talk more about Connecticut and hear some wild stories from there. I know you got some. You just spent a lot of time out there, yes. man. Uh, yes. So I would like for you to come back on. And as well as, uh, do you have any kind of shout outs or anything you like to say before we end this episode? 
Nah, not really. You know, if anybody want to look me up, you know, heck the great 78 on IG. You know, I'm I'm not really too into that. I'm getting old, yeah. bro. I, know, I, know I, <laughs> I don't look it. I don't look it, but I'm getting old, bro. Hey. <laughs> Hey, we're like wine, my friend. Convicts. We, I, I, we I, I just great. told my mother. <laughs> hell yeah, I just told my mother-in-law that the other day it was her birthday. And I told her, I said, don't worry about it, man. We old as hell, but we just like wine, we taste better. <laughs> hey, look, I don't know what it is, man. You know, people, I don't care what you say. You see a cat that's done 20 years in prison versus a cat that's been living, eating McDonald's for 20 years out here in the streets. That dude, even though the food in there, people can talk all the shit they want on it. Ramen noodles, all that nasty food. Man, some of those guys will come out with a glow that looks like they were just created at a damn uh, action figure company. You know what I mean? Real hell glow, yeah. That's, They're aging that's not well. a lie. I swear to God, that shit. I'm telling you, when especially when you get that first haircut, you know how you that last month right before you go home, you let everything go. So when you go get that haircut, man, you look like everything's shining. You are crisp. I'm telling you, that's how you come out. <laughs> crisp, like your brand newborn, newborn boy. baby, boy. I'll tell you yes, what. Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. Well, look, I appreciate you coming on, and I'm going to leave your uh, Instagram link pinned in the comment section for anybody that might just want to kick it or whatever. Uh, yeah. And look, man, keep in touch. I was, I really got to have someone on here talking more about Connecticut, if you don't mind, man. Yeah. No, oh, you, bro, I told you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm a, however you say it, DM away, I'm – I'm around <laughs> like That's a baby. That's what's up, man. Well, you keep yep. doing what you're doing out there, man. Stay safe and uh, stay free. You know what I mean? 